Disappointed fans, of course, but there's still optimism about their Flyboys chances. Our Alicia Reed is live at a socially distanced outdoor Flyers party at Chickies and Pete's Marlton location. She continues our coverage. Hi, Alicia. That's right, Joe. The Flyers making it to the playoffs created such a buzz. Organizers wanted to create a space outside of Xfinity Live for fans to come out and support their team. Let's go, Flyers! Let's go, Flyers! Ten big screen TVs. I like it, for sure. And enough space for everyone to spread out. It's great being here with friends and lots of people and you guys hanging out. It's a good time. Round two, game three of the Stanley Cup playoffs brought out the fans. I haven't been to the finals since uh, 2010, so we're about to have a good time. We know we're going back to the Cup. I can't wait for it. The Flyers started off strong against the New York Islanders, but started falling behind in the second period. We're not as tough as we should be. But uh, I think I think we have the right elements in place to, to at least make a run, have some fun, and bring some enjoyment back to Philly hockey. Go Flyers! Over drinks and Chickies and Pete's famous crab fries. We always support our boys. They always do a great job. So proud of them. Fans are standing behind their team all the way. I miss coming out and watching games and go Flyers. <laughs> it feels great. I mean. It's Kind of like a little normalcy. Like since we can't go to the games anymore, it's good to be in an environment where everyone, like the fans, are around, and it's not just like being at home and watching from a TV. In the end, they're hoping for the Stanley Cup. It's past time. All right, all right. Come on, that's way before I've been bored. Way before I've been bored. It's been past time. We're dying for it. All right. Come on, we need it. Everything going on in the world, we just need a championship in Philly. It was a busy night here at Chickies and Pete's, and although the Flyers did not take home a win, fans admittedly made the best of a night out. Reporting live from Marlton, New Jersey, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Quite the closing argument from that last man you interviewed, Alicia. Thank you for that report. And